What's up guys, this is Danky Drank H2O, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build an energy diamond producing solar panel farm that will produce one diamond in about three to four seconds. What's up guys, this is Danky Drank H2O, and I'm going to be bringing you guys another Tech It video. So today I'm going to be showing you uh, the energy condenser and some of the features you can use with these things called energy collectors. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to set up an EMC solar farm, which basically produces and duplicates items just by using the power of the sun. So this right here is an energy condenser, and I already showed you how it worked in the last video. You put a target item in there. Sorry, there was already EMC stored in there. You put a target item in there, and then you put items into it, and they'll turn into that item. Uh, based on their EMC, which a feather is 48 and a gunpowder is 192. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty basic about the um, energy condenser and how it works. But this is the EMC solar panels, which are called energy collectors. So you need some of these, which the energy collectors. Uh, there's the recipe for them. They're quite expensive to make. They work quite well. Uh, you need blocks of diamonds, so yeah, they they can be really expensive. And then um, antimatter relays as well. I then take blocks of diamond, and um, you can gradually update these as you go along. Um, and then you're also going to need an energy condenser, of course. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So if you put an energy collector on top of, oh by the way, shift click and you'll be able to place things on top of chests. So if I put an energy collector there, it's going to be slowly producing energy and turning it into whatever I put here. So see, now it's producing feathers. You can see the bar going up and then, poof, a feather. But now we don't want, really want feathers and plus that's ridiculously slow. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up an um, antimatter relay system. So, you put an antimatter relay on every side of the chest possible except for the bottom because that's where you're going to be accessing the chest from. And I'm going to put one on top there too. And then you put an energy collector on every part so you can't see any of the antimatter relays. And don't forget the top. So don't forget the top up here. Um, so there, that's basic. Uh, it's called a power flower. And basically what this does is it just gathers a lot more energy than the other type. Basically what the antimatter relay does is it inserts energy from all the um, energy collectors around it into the energy condenser. So you see this goes a lot faster now. But we don't really want that. We want something that's even faster. So we're going to upgrade all of these parts up to the mark two ones. So, um, the antimatter relays all have, or the antimatter relays and the energy collectors both have uh, three updated levels. So there's this one here, which is the beginning level. Then there are these um, ones that have the black on top. Those are the Mark IIs. So if I set up the exact same thing with Mark IIs, you're going to see it's going to go a lot faster. I need one in the front too. Then let's put the um, Mark II antimatter relays on there, or the collectors on there, excuse me. So, this is going to go oopsies, a lot faster than it did before. Um, yeah, so, I'm almost done covering this up. Then we're going to go take a look at how much faster this is going to go. If I go down here, you're going to see if I put a feather in here now. Poof, look at that. I'm generating feathers like crazy. Um, so yeah, as you upgrade it, it gradually gets better. And so now, I'm going to show you the super highest level upgraded version you can do. Plus a cool little trick that will make it go even faster. Um, so let me clear this off here. And um, so the recipe for those ones is the Relay Mark II. It's Dark Matter with... Oh, where this? Dark matter with obsidian and then a regular antimatter relay. 
Then for the tw re or, uh, for the twitter, it's um, glowstone, a radiator, energy twitter, and then dark matter. So that's the basic principle behind those. So now let's step it up a little bit with the Mark III ones. And the recipe for these is involves red matter. It's just it's on the uh, radiator relay or uh, Mark II relay, excuse me, with obsidian, and then putting in red matter on top. And same thing for the collector, it's just a uh, Mark II collector with glowstone and then red matter on top. So if we surround the, this chest with these antimatter relays now, this one is going to be a lot faster than the old one. Um, then we put the Mark III collectors on to the, the solar panels. You're going to see here in a minute that we're going to be producing. EMC a lot, lot faster. Alright, so there's the final upgraded version, and if I put a feather in here now, it's gonna be absolutely ridiculous, like 16 feathers in about a second. But that's not what we want. We want diamonds, right? Everybody wants diamonds. Diamonds are a symbol of wealth. So, if I put a diamond in here now, Oh, that's an industrial diamond. Excuse me, grab the wrong type. Um, if I put the radio diamond in here now, watch how long it takes me to make a diamond. Hold on. So, um, these things produce diamonds like crazy, and the tip to make it go even faster is you can cover the entire thing in glowstone. Or, not glowstone. You can do it with glowstone, too. Uh, glowstone blocks. But I like to do it with jack o' lanterns just because they look cool, and I don't know why this isn't working. For some reason, it's not letting me. I don't want to put it there anyway. I want to put it on top. Silly me. So um, basically, what we're doing is just covering the tops of all the collectors in jack o' lanterns, and this greatly increases the um, amount of time, or greatly decreases the amount of time to produce items. So let's see here. I'm almost done. Because these things do run off light, and if they have even more light so close to them, then it's going to run beautifully. So now if I put a diamond in here, it will go just a little bit faster. Not that much, but a little bit. And um, so yeah, that's basically the simple principle of the energy condenser and the EMC solar panel farm. So keep watching guys, I'll bring you more great tech and Minecraft videos. So this is Danky Drink Inch Duo, signing out.